Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutze. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my recipe and technique for making lemon curd. Lemon curd has many uses, ranging from spreading it between layers of cake, filling pies, or even tart shells, and topping with berries. Join me now as I show you how I make lemon curd. Okay, to begin, let us take our sugar and lemon zest and mix together. The lemon zest that I'm using is a um, manufactured one. It's lemon zest that is mixed with some sugar, also lemon juice, and some lemon oil. The reason I'm doing, uh, I purchased it that way, is because I'll be canning in a neighborhood of 50 to 60 half pint jars. I was not going to zest you know, 100, 200 lemons, not just not happening. So what we want to do is mix this around really good, and then we're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. Step two, what I'll take is a larger stainless steel bowl. I will then take my egg yolks. Now we will mix our whole eggs in with it. Go ahead and gently whisk them together until everything is incorporated. Okay, now that our eggs are mixed well, let's go ahead and gently add our sugar. Now we will add our lemon juice. Now that the lemon juice is fully incorporated and the sugar is dissolved, we are now gonna take this to either uh, the stove top to cook it over a water bath, or feel free to pour this into the top part of a double boiler. Well, here we are over our water bath. Uh, make certain that the water is boiling and there's plenty of steam uh, coming up to meet the bottom of the bowl. Also, be certain that the water level does not touch the bowl itself because it will cook too fast and you'll scramble the eggs. Um, feel free to use either a, a wire whisk or using a uh, rubber spatula to just gently scrape the sides and you wanna keep this moving. We don't wanna have a chance for it to sit on the side also note that we are going to cook this until it reaches a temperature of 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not exceed that. Well, we've been cooking this for about seven, 10 minutes. And you can see the foam coming up on here. That's, it's already cooking. So at this point, what I like to do is I'll add a pinch of salt, kosher salt. And then now I'd like to add my cubes of cold butter. I kind of drop in a, a few at a time and then begin slowly putting it, uh, incorporating it together as it melts. This is a little bit of a process. It is extremely easy, but it is a relatively time consuming process. So continue to stir as we work our way to our target 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Please note that if you are planning to can your lemon curd into the jars, please have your jars already washed and sanitized uh, or sterilized. And the easy way to do that without using boiling water is once you've washed them with hot soapy water, rinse very well, dry them off, and place them on a sheet pan and put them in an oven, 225 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or so. Also, have your water in your canner preheated. I use my, usually hold mine at about 180 degrees Fahrenheit uh, and then put the hot curd into the hot jar and then into the hot water. And keep in mind, the processing time begins once the water starts to boil. So we're just trying to jumpstart it um, by having it 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, please note that you don't want the water in the pressure canner already boiling. 
simply because the curd will cook too fast and it will not have the proper amount of time for the processing that is required. Here we are at about 15, 20 minutes of cook time. We're already at 146 degrees Fahrenheit, 148. So always have the thermometer ready with you because once it hits 170, we're golden. Well, here we are, 169.5 degrees, and there's 170. It has a little bit of fluctuation between spots. So that's why stirring is important, not only to keep the egg from sticking and scrambling, you're also transferring heat anytime you stir, which is what's gonna make something cook a little faster and heat, heat up completely, you know, uh, much faster. So now that we've re reached our target temperature, we will now take this and strain it through a fine mesh sieve. Now that our curd is strained, it is ready for storage. Now we could store this in an airtight container in a refrigerator or a jar uh, without any type of canning or processing. It'll last uh, a few months uh, providing you keep it under refrigeration. Now for those of you that are interested in the canning part, we will transfer the curd to our jars. I recommend half pint jars uh, simply because you know you, you keep it fresh and you open it and you're not sitting on it too long. I assure you that when you do make it, it's not going to sit around very long. Uh, my family in Hungary just destroy it. Well, there you have my procedure for making lemon curd and including the canning procedure. Lemon curd can be stored uh, different ways. Uh, one, you could freeze it. It freezes very well, by the way. Uh, you could can it as we just showed, or you can just put them into airtight containers for shorter uh, periods of storage. However, unless you're canning it, it must be refrigerated or frozen. And also keep in mind that if you are going to freeze it and you want to do a reduced oxygen procedure or pack, reduce oxygen packaging, which is cryovacking, be certain to cool the product below 40 degrees Fahrenheit or five Celsius before cryovacking. If you're putting it into deli containers and just storing it in a freezer that way, be sure to chill it first. It just makes for better, uh, storage and also safe practices. The canning, uh, with that be certain when you remove them from the water bath to put them in a nice warm place to slowly cool down, rapid temperature change will crack the glass uh, of the jars. Um, you will hear them pop every now and again as the uh, oxygen is gone and it cools down, the suction pulls it down and you have a good seal. I recommend on a counter in the kitchen or dining room table, uh, somewhere as such, put a nice towel, towel down on the uh, counter. And then also a good habit is to lay towel, uh, dish towels or tea towels over top of them, just to help keep the heat in there and to ensure that it even cools down slower. Allow them to sit 12 to 24 hours and test the lids. If any of the lids have not pop or sunk down and they still pop whenever you're pressing it, do not put that on the shelf. Be certain to put that in the refrigerator and proceed with consuming that first. On the shelf, 
can properly canned will last six months or so. Uh, if you're freezing it, you could safely freeze up to one year, no problems whatsoever. If you were just putting it into a container and leaving it in your fridge for a short term thing, uh, one month, maybe a little longer, depending on uh, how often you open it up and put a fork or, or spoon into it. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's presentation and I hope it uh, inspires you or motivates you to make some lemon curd. It is a lot cheaper to make it yourself than it is to purchase. And after seeing this video, I think everyone has an appreciation for why it costs so much money to do, to make or to purchase. Ingredients, obviously, but also the time and procedure that is involved with it. Well, if you've not done, if you've not already done so, please feel free to subscribe and press that like button. Be up to date with all of our latest videos. Thanks again for joining us. You're